Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the online class. So today, as you can see, the topic is written guilty. Okay. So we are going to start a new chapter that is from your new pathways. Okay. And we are heading towards our unit six, ah, uh, section two. Okay. And the ch topic name is chapter name is guilty. So this is a play. This is a play, or you can say a drama. or some acting is going on uh, somewhere on the stage or somewhere which is going to be like a recorded or some maybe the live one okay so this is a story which uh, uh, this is story or no this is not a story this is a play which revolves around a stolen diamond everyone have its own character and they are playing their own character and they are uh talking they are conversationing uh they are on like uh, dialogues they are dialecting their dialogues and all this where the things is going on in the play and the character who are there in the play are uh, like ma ryan uh mrs muir uh jim ryan stranger michael muir and a policeman okay so these are the characters which you will see you will witness in this chapter um this is a play again i want to say this is a play where everyone is acting or some uh, drama is going on okay and uh, everyone have their own character they are playing their part and they were just dialogue uh, means uh, dialecting their dialogues okay and they were just acting all upon uh, like uh, uh, like uh, with the perfect timing and all as you can see a movie here uh, when you are seeing a movie everyone have their own characters and dialogues and they have a particular time to dialect that uh, to deliver that right so here also you will see a, a play which is equal to a uh, means you can say a drama let's see so what are the things is going to happen in this play <clears throat> as the curtain rises marian is just finishing making the bed she pats it and sigh the big clock says it is 10 o'clock the lamps are lit you know what is happening as the drama started okay as the play got started what happened the first thing when a play is going to be happen or something which is going to be uh, started uh, in a school or somewhere at the performance and all you can see curtain is there which uh, rises up when the program is going to be started right here also when this drama this play was going to start the curtain rises up and what we can see mrs uh, like uh, miss marian is there okay who is just uh, fixing the bed she pats the bed to fix it and uh, the clock says that it is 10 o'clock and the lamps are lit there okay like it is lighted up marian straightening up well that's done stand a moment her hand on her hips look around the room shakes her hand and start to pick up toast clothing now uh, after doing this bed she fixed the bed she manages the bed she stands over there in the room just like you can see in the picture she kept her hand on her waist and she looks around is everything is on their own place or not okay and what she did she took up the cloth thing which were like uh, some maybe not managed tossed uh, like uh, which is not in a well organized way she uh, picked that cloth uh, them Mrs. Moore of state. Okay, Mrs. Moore, who is like uh, she uh, is waiting for her turn to get back on the stage or to get back into the play. Okay, so what she said? She said, "Mrs. Ryan, Ma Ryan, Ma Ryan, hurrying to the door, center left. Yes, Mrs. Moore opens the door and talks loudly. Come." Right in, I'm in Jim's room. Come here. Okay, what is happening is that uh, Mrs. Uh, like Moore came on the door and Marian 
Marian just opened the gate and uh, she conf- she informs Mrs. Moore that come here, come here, Mrs. Moore. I'm in Jim's room. I'm in Jim's room. Come right here. <clears throat> Mrs. Moore came and she said, "Land sakes." means my god o m g still walking now what he said when she uh, came there and the first thing she said was that land sakes and she said that still walking what does it mean has a folded newspaper in her arm and she came into the room while taking a newspaper which was kept under her arm They walk front stage together. Mrs. Moore sinks down with the apparent comfort in big chair with the paper on her lap, while Marianne goes about straightening the talking all the while. She was just asking what was the reason, what happening, or maybe she knows the thing, <clears throat> what she wanted to say. Okay, uh, and uh, what does Mrs. Moore do? Uh, did she just came? she said that my god still working and afterwards they both came at the front of the stage and mrs moore sat on a chair and uh, she kept the newspaper on her lap and mrs uh, like marian is saying something that you forgot jim works at night the poor lad doesn't get up until the last minute now she said what she said that you forget that uh, jim is working uh, at night the poor lad the poor boy doesn't uh, get up until the last minute like uh, he was not getting up uh, like the last minute he was like impossible for him guess it doesn't matter if they work in the day time they lay a bed until the last minute just the same now what he what she said she said it was impossible but guess it doesn't matter i think okay they also work in the day time and they lay a bed like a old way to say that old usage of the bed okay until the last minute just the same time right <clears throat> like if they work in the day time it is like uh, it's the time to lay on the bed but think about now he is working uh, like uh, in night at night <clears throat> yeah mrs moore said yes they are all the same how does jim like his new job now she said that okay fine they work but i'm in a dilemma that Why? How does Jim like his new job? Marian, fine. Of course, it isn't what he would like to do, but then he won't be a night watchman all his life. Now, what Marian is trying to explain her, Mrs. Moo, that okay, fine, it may be a difficult one for Jim, but he won't be a watchman for a whole life. Mrs. Moo said. there's nothing the matter being a night watchman okay there's nothing to be a matter to become a watchman a night watchman marian hastily said no i don't mean there is anything the matter it it just well when a boy has studying engineering has hard as jim has it does seems a pity yeah of course when somebody has done engineering and afterward when he does a work like um, what he wanted to be another that means rather than uh, becoming a engineer he became a watchman it is little pity on him or maybe it is really sad for him or her what like the person is okay when someone studied about uh, means doctoring or something like uh, uh, mba and all Uh, if they work as a like laborer or somewhere at uh, teaching and all some which is like very different from their own professions their own uh, like um, what they wanted to be, be to become okay so it's really difficult for them to accept that while uh, he was the engineering person and now he is working as a night watchman so it may be a little little uh, pity on 
uh, this that uh, uh, he does a uh, engineering and now he is working as a watch night watchman mrs moore sharply said maybe the world needs good watchmen as much as it does engineers look how long jim walked the street before he did find this job now see uh, it may be like the world needs an engineer to become a watch night watchman but think about he had gone so many streets and afterwards he find a job and this is a job like a night watchman marian holding a sweater in her arms yes it was months and months before he had any shot of a job i worried a bit you know i was afraid he would get so discouraged and he would now mrs marian said that oh yeah yeah like uh, a month back or before that we were like he was not having a short of job he was not he may uh, lose his discourage he may get frustrated or he can do anything but now finally he had a job it's a good sign <clears throat> mrs moore said land six marian jim wouldn't do anything wrong now as we know when someone gets frustrated or depressed they can do whatever they want to because their sense is not working at that time and it's really difficult for them to survive in that condition but mrs moore said oh my god oh my god marian jim won't do anything don't worry but he will not do anything <clears throat> wrong marian said i know that he is fine good boy and a hard worker it was just i didn't like some of the company he kept now marian is said okay i know he is a good boy and he is a good worker everything is fine but the company what he has it's not good <clears throat> mrs mu said he will forget them soon enough now that he has a job now the company what he had is not good i know that but now he is having a job and well everything will be fine and he will forget about that company also and uh, he has a job he will concentrate there marian said of course he ha- he already has mrs moore said sometimes i'm glad i don't have a son they can be a worry take poor mrs wilson she always thought her larry was too good to associate with any of the other lads growing up here now she said that like uh, uh, i'm glad i don't have a son like sometimes uh, ki agar uh, means that she is lucky she don't have a son and she gave a example that uh, uh, mrs wilson so maybe some of the neighbor or whatever she always thought her larry was too good to associate with any any uh, of the other lads growing up here means like uh, um, he can get into the company and can uh, like uh, can a uh, very able and a good person right she said an example about uh, the neighbor or maybe somewhere in the family member marian excitedly said did you hear what larry got mrs moore picking up the paper i heard over the radio 10 years he got 10 years now what they were talking about marian slowly said this is an awful long time out of a boy's life maybe okay let's see what uh, they were talking about mrs moore said indignantly what do you expect a jury do when a case is as clear as that one was now they were talking about that mrs wilson has a son larry okay he has uh, she thought that uh he can get into i uh, mean he, he can associate in any of the boy company okay and uh, can uh, like uh, he can associate with any of the boy but what happened 
he got in like a bad company and now he got uh, maybe uh, uh, like uh, in a prison for 10 years more than 10 years and now they were discussing about that maybe uh, like it is really bad but uh, what do you think what the jury will decide when the case is very clear now marian said but 10 years he is so young mrs moor laughing said but that doesn't count when one robs a big firm it was proved beyond a doubt that he had been doctoring the company's book for years he took more than 10000 dollars of the firm's money no firm is going to smile and say forget it my boy no they don't do things that way these days shake her head but i do feel sorry for mrs wilson now they were talking about mrs wilson's son and mrs moor laughingly said that no nobody will count the uh, years that it is uh, they he got the punishment for 10 years or whatever but robbing something which is like robbing a big firm okay it is a uh, like a punishment thing and he robs the company's book for years okay and also he robs 10 more than 10000 dollars so it is a big thing and no company no man will tell you that oh you rob okay fine let's forget it boy no nobody will do this anyone will be there they will file a case and they can they want that uh, the person will get punished too by the jury marian softly and so do i okay i agree with you mrs moor unfolding the paper and now she is showing or she may be uh, showing something to uh, miss uh, marian let's see what it says about the case in the paper okay now we are going to see that what mrs moore is going to read about miss wilson son i didn't have time to read about it snaps the paper open at the front page as marian advances to look over her shoulder land six look up at marian doesn't jim work at the van king warehouse now the big mystery is going to happen now they were talking about mrs wilson now that uh, his son was like uh, he got punishment for 10 years from the jury and the jury is going to decide some case over it right now he like uh, both of them read a news what is given in the newspaper and that is what written that something very mysterious and they looked at each other and said marian it is the house na a warehouse where uh, jim is working marian yes what is it looks at the paper start back robbed the warehouse was robbed omg now jim is working as a night watchman there the van king warehouse and now the van king warehouse was robbed now what is going to happen next mrs moore it says it was robbed right after the night watchman left this morning that means right after your jim left oh now it said that when the night watchman left in the morning then only we found that the warehouse was robbed it means when your gym left marian my won't won't gym be mad because he missed the excitement but smiling i'm glad he wasn't mixed up in it now marian is little worried and but she hold her uh, worriedness and she said smiling no 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 my gym is not like this may he have not done anything no i'm glad he wasn't mixed up in it mrs moor very excitedly said the thieves didn't just get the skills stored there but they did get the famous van famous banking diamond pendant okay 
now the thieves they didn't have any idea about the stored thing but they uh, had the idea they get the famous diamond pendant from the house marian quickly what was it doing there oh now the necklace or the pendant the diamond pendant what was doing there mrs moore said mr van king had brought it down to his office intending to have it re rest reset and put it into his office safe and forget about it imagine forgetting a diamond heirloom worth a fabulous fortune now they were talking about where jim was working in the warehouse and the owner mr like van king okay he had brought the pendant and he wanted to keep that pendant into the uh, office uh, safe and he forgot about it and what happened that got robbed and it is a fabulous fortune to have this okay a diamond heirloom is a very famous one and is a worth fabulous fortune to have it marian it was careless of him now i'm little worried it was careless of him that he kept that uh, uh, that pendant diamond pendant there he forgot to keep that into the safe but i'm little worried holds out the sweater shake it and as she does so a crumpled handkerchief drops from a pocket and falls to the floor now when she was shaking with the worriedness she was very confused that what happened and while uh, shaking a crumbled handkerchief drops from a pocket crumble like uh, she was remember she was picking up that uh, tossed clothing and a crumbled like a uh, very uh, unfolded way a uh, handkerchief was kept there Uh, somewhere and it was fallen down on the floor mrs moore he is offering a big reward for the pendant recovery and look here's a picture of it my now mrs moore is continuing reading the newspaper and what she said she said that look it is written here when anyone will get the diamond pendant they will get the reward of it and while discovering it the person will get something a big reward and hear the picture of that diamond pendant bends her head absorbed marian stoops to pick up the handkerchief and start to unwrap it as she look at the paper over mrs moore's shoulder marian it is a beauty mrs moore such a big stone on a long thin chain oh this is a beauty marian uh, like bent down to pick up the crumbled handkerchief and she wanted to unwrap that before unwrapping she looked the pay newspapers picture of the diamond pendant and miss moore said what oh it is very lovely it's a beauty that on a thin chain a diamond is pierced on it it's a very beautiful thing so up to here we have seen what happened in the chapter what happened in the play they were just acting a play okay they were just acting into a play where we found that they were first talking about mrs wilson uh, son that he got into a bad company and uh, uh, he got uh, like uh, a 10 years punishment okay and now they were talking about uh, the van king warehouse where the things were robbed and the robbed thing was the diamond pendant and now we'll see some of the most more interesting like uh, it is a uh, we can say suspense story okay suspense play what is going to happen next in the uh, play okay So this is all about today you can also read the play to get what is going to happen next but if you are watching this video keep this suspense suspense up to here okay so keep it here and we'll meet next 
लाइक इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो विल सी वट इज गोइंग टू हैपन वट्स दैट सस्पेंस आफ्टर दिस प्ले वट इज गोइंग टू रिवील आफ्टर रीडिंग द नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द प्ले ओके बाय एवरी वन